Hey everybody, this is Jordan with Gym9TCG, and today we are taking a look at a relatively rogue deck, but is very, very powerful. Got top eight at the Card Trooper Games 1K, and it is built of single prize Pokemon. And no, I'm not talking about Regigigas. That deck is great, but I think this one is prize, or poised to make an even better stand in the meta. This is a Zoroark box. We are hitting everything for weakness. All right, we're hitting Palkia for weakness. We're hitting Mew for weakness. We're hitting... Well, I guess not Ice Rider, but almost everything else. We're hitting Darkrai for weakness. We're hitting Arceus for weakness, but we are just taking out big prizes with small single prize Pokemon. We have so much fun just getting any card we need out of the discard pile. It feels like a very combo-y deck, and it's so satisfying to take down these big behemoths with single prize Pokemon. So we'll get right into the deck ahead of the gameplay. All right, so this is our Zoroark box deck. Zoroark is the core of this entire deck. Nothing works without him. Zoroark, once during our turn, we can choose a stage one Pokemon, except for any other Zoroark from our discard pile, and completely switch places with it. So every card attached to Zoroark goes in the discard pile, which I did learn the hard way, and you'll find out later on in this video. Um, but we can use that to get a lot of powerful stage one Pokemon out of our discard pile and hit anything that we need to for weakness. So Palkia, weak to electric types, we pull out this electrode and we hit it for 120 or 360 damage with our super effective glasses, which we also run two copies of. Uh, this card in and of itself allows us to hit big high HP Pokemon like Palkia V-Star, like Darkrai V-Star for as much damage as they have health and make sure that we take big knockouts and trade favorably with our opponents. When we need to hit dark types that have a grass weakness, we have this Galissapod, which is already doing a respectable amount of damage. The hard time slash can regularly hit up to 180, so we don't even need the super effective classes on it a lot of the time to take these one hit KOs. We have a Mighty N in the discard pile to deal with the Mew VMAX. We're one hit KOing it for free, even through, or I guess uh, Oracorio can jam us up a little bit, but we do have the super effective glasses to deal with that just in case we need it. Altaria acts as a supporter search, so we can use this to grab any supporter out of our deck once a turn. It's a great card to get on the bench early, and it's searchable by level ball. Flapple allows us to uh, hit for just some big general damage. Uh, this is great against decks that play a lot of Drizzile. Uh, we can hit and tax them for benching a ton of Pokemon with abilities. Wormadam hits Arceus for weakness, and since we're going to have a ton of Pokemon in our discard pile, uh, this is going to hit for pretty big numbers by itself. We have a Galarian Moltres in here just for the comeback potential, and that's why we play these four Darkness Energies. In addition, in order to get those cards in the discard pile, we play a 3-4, or sorry, 4-3 Chinchino line, where we're discarding cards from our hand, drawing two more, and making sure that we are pitching those evolution cards as quickly as possible. We also have a Mill Tank in the deck. This card did a ton of work in the games throughout this video. Uh, and really is important to walling out our opponent for otherwise kind of unfortunate matchup matchups. Uh, but think about like Urshifu V Max. Uh, we can just take that game with Mill Tank alone as long as they're not playing something like a canceling clone. Uh, we also have Radiant Greninja and Manaphy in here as our kind of utility Pokemon. Radiant Greninja helps us discard cards uh, and just dig through our deck a little bit faster. And Manaphy keeps us protected from what would otherwise be a really brutal matchup in all of our bench barrier. I'm sorry, all of our bench sniping uh, opponents like Jolteon VMAX or Urshifu VMAX. In terms of Pokemon Search, uh, we are playing four Battle VIP Pass. Getting set up with this deck is so important, and this is a card we can just discard with Minchino later on in the game. So having four at Battle VIP Pass to make sure you end up with one in your starting hand as often as possible is really, really critical. We then have 4-4 uh, four, four Evolution Incense and Level Ball. Evo Incense effectively acts as a level ball for all of our stage one Pokemon because we're just grabbing them with Evo Incense. Uh, and then Level Ball does find our setup pieces like Chinchino, Minchino, Zerua, and even Altaria, Flapple, and a few of the other stage ones. Quick Ball helps us discard some of those cards out of our hand. And since we play so many different cards and we have a really thin line of supporters and we want to play a lot of them, we play a Pal Pad, which we usually use to get Clara back. Uh, Clara is really important to recur those Zoroark and make sure that we have our loops intact with something like Electrode. Uh, we also play Professor's Research and Bird Keeper just to act as a switching card, which has been very solid in several games, uh, and you'll see it does win us a game later on. Xenia's Resolve lets us just pitch two evolution cards out of our hand and draw up a ton. 
and then our energy line is extremely thin. We play a 4-4 count of twin energy, which just is a double colorless for free, and a four count of the darkness energy, just so we can make sure that our Galarian Moltres hits for that 270 damage at the end of the game. Now, I think we use every single one of these stage ones at one point or another during these games, so I hope you enjoy this Zoroark box gameplay. This hand is insane. All right, this is likely Urshifu. It is Urshifu, which means we will level ball for a mana fee. <laughs> No, we won't. We'll battle VIP fast for a Manaphy. Call for family of two Zerua. Seems like a play. Man, that telescopic sight is going to be useless in a moment here. Let's go ahead and get... Uh, let's go ahead and get Miltank Zerua, actually. Let's do this. And then we can do... Ooh, we could level ball for the mana fee. Oh, this is so mean. Bench the mana fee. Retreat into the mill tank. Pass. And we get to, we just get to stall wall. There's no way that this is what they thought was happening. Bossing the mana fee, if I had to guess. That's like a lot of work for you to do. <laughs> yeah, they're definitely gonna retreat out of this guy. Interesting, throwing up the Drizzile. E switch. Fighting energy under here. Seems pretty solid. Let's go ahead and Evo Incense for a Chinchino. Go ahead and make do away the Altaria. Draw two more cards. Zinnia's Resolve. Great. Let's put an Evo Incense for some other double prizer or a single prize card. What's the best here? Probably like Galarian Weezing might be a good pivot option. Galarian Weezing probably a solid pivot option. And we can Zinnia's Resolve. Both of those guys. Cool. Zoroark. Evolve. I don't think we're putting super effective glasses on anybody yet. Check your dream research deck for support or reveal it and put that card on top of your deck. Pretty solid. I think that we need anything else really right now, so I think we're going to go ahead and pass. We're probably not doing the weakness game this round. I guess Galarian Moltres V is weak to... F no, it's weak to grass, so Galissapod, definitely going to be an option, but Galissapod's prized. Let's go ahead and make do... Minchino. Okay. We can start routing for sure. Quick ball away, Clara for a Zerua. Bench the Zerua. And let's go ahead and start routing. It's not gonna be much, but it's gonna be something. They are on full top deck mode. The the cow. The cow putting in some work. You know, this deck could definitely be something. We have to pass, yeah. We're gonna take a knockout here. Evolve again. To ditch another Zerua. 
or Zoroark rather. It's probably not ideal. Like, is there anything in the discard pile that I really want to get? I probably change one of these out for an Altaria at this point, right? Altaria, we can at least set up our supporters. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's do. Let's set up. Let's set up a boss here on top. Now let's just set up the research. Take it back. Set up the research. So next turn we are drawing into research. We will route. So we can find the Galissapod. No, we do not. Find a Palpat. Not a very good card to have found. Wonder if they're gonna try to double spin their way out of this. There's the VMAX. No, they are, I'll give them this much. They 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 think there's like a way out of this. Um, I think they're wrong. But they certainly are looking for a way out of this one. Any supporters I really want on the top of the deck? Not really. Let's just shuffle it back up. Um, we're going to make do away the Radiant Greninja. I think we're going to use that card this game. So we're Madame, so we'll definitely be getting rid of that. But right now, we're just going to go ahead and... Is there anything else we want to evolve into from the discard pile? 160 for free. Does it have to hit us twice? I just don't think we need to evolve into that yet. Maybe we do. But I'd rather evolve into the Galissapod later on. So let's just pause for now. Tower of Waters, great card. They're gonna be able to retreat around. All of their cards have free retreat and we win. Mill tank just like putting in work. We probably start the Minchino. Yeah, we're gonna start the Minchino. Bench the Mill Tank. This might be, I played uh, in the full grip games tournament a little while ago and there was a single prize lightning box deck. All right, this is the V's. Suing so heavy ball just to see what's up. This deck will definitely be able to attack me eventually. We're gonna use Call for Family here, get another Minchino. I don't think there's any lightning that's really gonna hit me on the bench. I might get punished for that later, we'll see. Let's go get a Zerbua Minchino. Not really any way to draw right now though. Definitely tough. First time I've ever seen a Shauna played. Interesting. Electrify, gonna start accelerating. Very solid. If they play the plus hole, there is potential for that to be a problem for me. That was a lot of P words, so all one sense. <laughs> um, there's, there's definitely an area where that can get difficult. Um, not super worried about it, but it is something worth considering. All right, let's get the Radiant Greninja out here. Start prepping to uh, get some cards rolling, but we'll just go ahead and wall them with this uh, mill tank for now. They're definitely going to have some time to set up. Yeah, no, uh... No bench damage to speak of, I'm pretty sure. Okay. 
the hustle is real using bolt storm against mill tank now this is what we needed we're gonna start drawing us some cards this is huge Clara not doing a ton to help me out here I would have just really loved to find a way to get twin energy onto our mill tank Retreat into the mine and start doing some damage to us, which is not great. <laughs> Interesting. Alright, Bird Keeper. Very solid. Let's start out with the Make Do getting rid of the Battle VIP Pass. Zerua, Clara. Hmm. So if we high roll which we probably won't. We could high roll into like Wormadam, which would do 30 plus, which is definitely gonna be enough to knock out. I think that's kind of what we have to do here though, right? Like we have to make a play with some boys. Okay, we high rolled a little bit. But we still do not have way to attack, so this is actually... Well, I guess we could Clara next turn, though. So this is fine. Done. This is a little bit slow. Clara feels less great. Let's see, though. Dynamotor onto... Is Dynamotor to Benched? Sense probably bolt on V Max. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this like the mill tank is gonna be a problem for them. I think that we win by just knocking out all their non V Max guys and then just go in. Okay, interesting rid of our Electrode. Draw two more cards. Maybe another Minchino would be really good here, but that... <clears throat> that not so much. Okay, so let's think about this for a second. We find the Twin Energy, we can attack the Minin without grabbing from our discard pile, but we also could just grab the Mightyena, which seems very solid. So let's go ahead and Zinnia's Resolve. Let's get rid of our Minchino so we don't need those anymore. Gonna have a huge hand. Alright, there we go. Let's do that. It's Evo Incense for uh, another Chinchino. Or Cinchino, whatever it is. Uh, we're gonna Cinchino away. Let's make do a Pal Pad. Palpad feels like it could be important later. Let's get rid of Clara. Okay, another Evo Incense. We can ditch cards with that. Okay, so we can attach the Twin Energy to the Mill Tank. I think this is the move. We attach the Twin Energy there. Photon Transformation into the Mighty Anna. And then just start bopping. 60. And they're going to take a return knockout. I think we put the mill tank up, boss in, Flaffy, GG's. I think that's how we win this game. What's up, Sombra? Welcome back. We're playing a little bit of a different deck now. We're onto the Fox Box. Yeah, so we're definitely bossing in the uh, Flaffy. Next turn. Bench of Zerua, start getting the Zoroarks going. Ooh. Ooh. I don't like that. 
really think I have a way to recover special energy, which is kind of tough. We're going to go ahead and do Phantom Transformation onto Mightyena. We are going to boss in your Flaffy. We are going to bench a Zerua. I don't think we need to really do anything else yet. We can attach this to our mill tank. I think that's that's a little heavy. Uh Wormadam and Mill Tank both need twins, so we should start prepping. Let's go ahead and Evo Incense away this. Grab a Galissapod. So that's gonna hit for a gazillion damage. We'll make do that into the deck, or into the discard pile rather. This feels very much like the Mew Mew 2 GX. And I'm already confident that I'm misplaying somehow. I'm not totally sure, but like I can just feel like with decks like this especially, I just feel like I misplay around some different things. So we need to find twin energy next turn. We can draw, oh, there's twin energy. We don't even need to find it. Now we have it. So we're gonna twin energy our, we're gonna get Wormadam in there to start doing some work. So we'll get the, so when they knock out this Mighty Anna, we'll get the Zerua up there, Evo into the Zoroark, Wormadam onto there, super effective glasses, boom, game. We got Bolt Storm, they're taking a prize. We're gonna take three, and then we can just wall them forever. All right, so Evo Incense to start out, get the Zoroark. There's any more Zerua left in the deck. Let's so do this. Is there any more Zerua? No, no more Zerua. Um, we're gonna grab the Wormadam out of the discard pile. Twin energy, super effective glasses. We should Clara back. Two Pokemon for discard pile. Let's go ahead and grab Zerua Zoroark. So now we're kind of looping them. Let's go look, is the last twin energy still in the deck? It is, so we have four energy left. Let's save that for if we need it. Let's Matron's Anger first. Just get our three prizes, hit for 360. Not a problem. Let's see, is this, is this music at all too loud? feeling okay in terms of volume levels. Turn it down a little bit. Is my Raihan discarded right now? No. Okay, so I can find Raihan. Oh, no, I don't have a way to get the basic energy in there. What's Marnie's pride? Attach the basic energy from discard pile to one of your bench Pokemon. Mareep. Morong. Right, I do need to find the twin energy here, though. If I can find the twin energy, it's all gravy. And I have at least four cards of draw to do that. Nice. Seven, ten cards of draw in a 14-card deck. Eleven cards. Okay. So let's go thin. Grab this. Let's evolve here first. Shouldn't have done that. Should have waited. Let's start with the make do. Get rid of this. That's not it. Uh, let's make do again. Get rid of a. Oh, the flapple. Why not the flapple? There's the twin energy. Uh, so we even get saved. I should not have promoted the Zoroark there. I should have promoted literally anything else. Probably the Mill Tank. Actually, exactly the Mill Tank I should have promoted. But we are saved by the RNG of the deck, and we win anyway.
All right, I think this is going to be our last game for the evening here, but we should, let's see here. Each Pokemon's, each enemy Pokemon's V and VMAX in play. Let's see here, the Mighty Anna might be the move. We can at least start getting some stuff done. Clear Hector. Single strike with Bibarel maybe, or is this more of like Umbreon control loop? Nope, they're going to put some V's in. 80, 240, so we just need one more, and then we get to do some stuff. Max Darkness, not gonna be yet, unfortunate. <laughs> um, because 80, 160, 240, not quite enough. We're gonna offer up this Radiant Greninja for now. Probably should've put the Zerua up there. Definitely should've put the Zerua up there. That was probably incorrect, but let's go ahead and make do. We'll get rid of the Mediana. Draw two cards. We will get rid of the Glissopod. Draw two cards. That's good. Let's do this. I think we're going to Clara for some cards back, right? That makes, that makes some sense. We're going to get a Zerua back. It's basically it. We're basically just clearing to get the Zerua. So that we're not dead on arrival. Let's go ahead and ditch this darkness energy. Another Zerua. Let's get that darkness energy back into hand for free. Let's bench it to our Radiant Greninja. I think we pass, right? Probably just end up passing. Yeah, let's pass here. Let's see if they fall into it. Suian Decidue V. I don't think we have anything that hits for Psychic Weakness. So we'll have to take the KO there with the Galarian Moltres towards the end of the game. The dog. Alright, we're definitely gonna... We're gonna get it done here, for sure. That is gonna get around our mill tank, which is unfortunate. But... What are you going to do? It'll be interesting to see if they retreat out of this. Little greedy to Clara there. Yeah. For sure. Get 270. And when they get to one prize. So the Moltres there is going to be important. Uh, what are they going to grab here? The Zoroark? Okay. Reasonable. Let's throw this up here. All right, I cannot attach energy this turn. It's concealed cards away, one of these. I have most of the pieces I need. There we go. Zoroark, let's do this. Let's retreat into the Zoroark. Probably should have Bird Keeper there as well. Um, let's go ahead and make do away a Mancino. Don't need that. We can find another Clara. Actually, let's just training core back. One of those. Let's go ahead and Phantom Transformation into the Glissopod. Twin energy, super effective glasses. This is so insane. Deck feels freaking nuts. Uh, we can just go ahead and do that to Clara back, right? Yeah. A little greedy. We'll wait. Bonk. So good. Let's go ahead and take our prizes. One, two, three. 
just free cards. Now, the question is, like, the continuation right here is going to be tough. 140, so they are for sure knocking me out. I don't really know what I'm coming back here with. What options do I have down here? So that's doing 150. It's actually not bad. Right? Am I crazy for thinking that? 150? 150 for one? Yeah, seems pretty good. Let's bench this. Get a dark energy back. Go ahead and make do. Quick ball. So we can, let's see here. We can make do again. Let's go ahead and get rid of the Altaria. Get the Mancino out of the deck. Make do the Mancino. Let's do this. Let's let's pal pad the Clara back in. We will make do the Mancino. So we can draw into the Clara. We do not draw into the Clara yet. So let's go ahead and concealed cards. Let's get rid of the twin energy here. Still did not. F oh, we did find the Clara. Haha. -ha. Yeah, so Clara for Zorua's, or Zoroark's rather. Let's get those back in the hand. Done. Go here. Phantom Transformation into a Flapple. Attach energy here. We're not hitting for weakness, but we are hitting 150. Like they're gonna take a return knockout. That seems fine. Let's go ahead and acidic mucus. Acidic mucus. 150. We only have one Zoroark in there. The Zorua's being gone is going to be kind of tough. If we line this up correctly, should be fine. We'll be able to bird keeper on our last turn. Take more prizes. I think we'll go back into this same card. That's gonna be 200 damage. We're taking a knockout. Zerua. Evolve here. Let's get our court back. Go ahead and phantom transform right back into this flapple. And we will attack again. Now the question is, I don't think I bench this right now. That seems way too greedy. 200... Yeah, I think we just take this, take this attack, take some prizes. I'm a little bit surprised this deck is not playing Arceus. Yeah, I think they're gonna take one more prize. Yep, and that is gonna be game. We walked all of this in. We took our prize mapping very specifically. And that's going to do it. Bench this, accelerate these, attach, and bird keeper. To draw three, get all those Zoroarks back in. Fiery Wrath 270, we take the knockout. out. It's that easy. That's the game. That's the game. All right, thank you so much if you made it this far into the video, especially really appreciate you sticking around and watching through the whole content. I uh, had a ton of fun making this video in particular, and it helps me a lot to get a sense of what are kind of the decks on the outsides of the defined meta that I need to be watching out for. 
Uh, if you like this video, leave a like and a comment below. Let me know what you would play as an answer to Ice Rider in this deck. I'm still trying to come up with options myself, so any advice is definitely helpful. Uh, also, make sure that you subscribe and follow me on Twitch and Twitter. We filmed all of these gameplays on Twitch and had a really good time just talking through the matchups, talking through what our plans are for NAIC and other uh, local tournaments coming up soon. So definitely get uh, followed on those platforms, and thanks for sticking around. Have a great day. See you soon.